Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Medieval Knights, the channel that brings you the best in daily less plays, tips and trick videos, and streams. I am TJ West, and if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit those like buttons and subscribe to follow my channel. Today on What the Flax, we are talking build talk now. So I'm just going to pop a building up just to show you. We're going to be building Sewing 2 today, or not Sewing 2, Sewing 1 today. I don't have Sewing 2 cre created yet, or unlocked yet. So you're going to basically push, not the tab button, Q button, go up to building, go down to crafting, and then sewing one. So we need two more logs, that's okay. Not tab. And you can push Q to get out of that. For some reason I keep misclicking and hitting tab, which takes me to the tab screen. So we're going to chop down this birch tree, and then I'm going to place down sewing one, get it built for you today and go over, I know I went over the building hammer in the tools, but this is going to actually show the function of it. So now if I bring out the building hammer here, I right click to bring up this menu and I want to repair, I can click that and that's going to show me in green the walls. If I walk up to them, it's going to show me their percentage as far as their durability remaining. Now mind you, wattle walls, like what my resources are currently made out of, and the uh, thatch roof, those deteriorate the fastest. So because those deteriorate the fastest, I really don't like to make my houses like a wattle house. I don't like to have the thatch roof on these. I usually ha like to have the uh, plank roof. Uh, which one is that? I'm not even sure. At any rate, so that's the repair function. Now, once you're in this mode and you see a red wall, you basically just walk up to it. The wall will tell you underneath where it says wattle wall 93%. It'll actually tell you what that wall needs to become to be repaired. So if it's stone, it might need stones. If it's a wattle wall, it might need sticks. If it's a log wall, it might be might need logs. Uh, so there's different things when you go to repair, you're going to need to take to the building. Now I will mention that in the winter time it is best if you don't have fur clothing to just make sure your house is repaired before winter hits. And then if you really wanted to or you really had to, you could just light a campfire in your house and stay warm through the winter. You would just be minimized to your house basically. Or you can carry a torch around and that'll help keep you warm too. So that's the repair feature. We're going to go upgrade now and it changes the colors of everything. Now if I had six limestone, I could upgrade this. I do not have six limestone, so I cannot upgrade it now. Uh, daub is for wattle walls. So be sure to uh, keep an eye out for daub. It is 10 straw and 10 clay mixed together in the barn. And that'll create daub for you to insulate your wattle walls. I like to do stone just because it deteriorates uh, the slowest and then it takes limestone to upgrade those. So upgrading just basically means your people aren't going to use as much resources throughout the winter. And then let's see, downgrade, uh, there isn't really anything to downgrade right now. You can't downgrade houses that aren't upgraded yet and it's basically just if you're going to destroy it and you kind of want to... Uh, take it step by step, you would downgrade it. You can just click destroy this button here, brings everything up in red, and just smack it with your hammer and it'll destroy the walls anyway, whether they're upgraded or not. Also with fields, if you can see that over there, all I would have to do is go over there and smack the ground once and it'll take away the uh, pre-pointed field out there. So that's the hammer. Went over it again in depth this time. Now let's see if we can get this sewing built up real quick. There we go. We're just going to build it by the house. Uh, I'm not going to leave it here. I'm going to end up moving things, but just to cover the building portion. So you get it in the right spot, and then you click the left mouse click. And then you'll have a bunch of different areas that you're going to need to build. Now the foundations are done. If you decided this isn't where you wanted it, you can destroy the foundations here. And then move it. We're not going to do that right now. So, but you won't get any of the initial logs back that was used to set the foundation. So if you set it, you really want to ensure you either have another set of logs available to move it 
or just make sure that you're picky when you set it and where you set it. So now what do we need? Now that we're here, we can look up at the roof tiles. We can see how many there are, what they need and all of that. And then we can also see the walls here. So they need sticks. We can start building these now. They are going to need logs as well. Uh, I right click there on accident. So let's not right click there. I'm really hoping this doesn't continue today. This whole misclicking things, because I think I've clicked tab so many times already. And now I'm doing it with the right click on the mouse button. I am losing my mind today. Okay, so we need some more things. What do we need? Sticks are done. Stone is done. We need to go to the resource storage for straw. And all we're doing is for every single item that the building needs, you're going to hit it with your hammer to add the resource. So I'm going to take the logs, I'm going to take the straw, and then I'm going to head back to the building. Now, as you can see, it has log one and I have three on me. Three in parentheses is how many you have in your inventory currently. I'm going to smack it with the hammer and that's going to be built. Smack that, smack that. Okay, so now I also have straw, so it tells me that this thatch roof right here, this one tile, is going to take eight straw and one log. So I'm just going to click and hold down the left mouse button, and that's going to add one straw every time he hits the hammer against it. Now, if I end up backing up and I can't reach it, like there, he's not going to add the pieces. So I have to be within range of the hammer's melee function. And then we need to go get more straw, and there is some straw over here. This is kind of closer than the other one. We don't need much, so I'm just going to grab some and go, and I might just fell a tree on my way for some logs here, maybe a couple. Because each section of roof there does need a log, along with the straw. So we need five, six logs for that to complete the sewing. And we also need this little bit of straw left that's down here. As you can see, I did harvest some of it. I have been harvesting it. Uh, I di did start coming here instead of going to the one that's on the way to Gustovia, just because this one's closer. I do like the one that's near Gustovia. I like that little bend there that uh, that is there where the reeds come in into a nook. It's kind of nice with the maple tree right there. It's beautiful. The whole game is just beautiful. But just the little things, the more you run around and you just notice the little things, like little waterfalls everywhere and uh, the scenery here, just looking across the river here. There's a bunch of stones. Alright, so. Oh, I need to cut down some trees. Thank you for reminding me, guys. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Alright. Now we needed, I think six more is what I had mentally come up with. So two, this will make four if I can not be tired. I should get it. All right, and now I'm gonna walk to this one. Oh, I passed the big one. All right. And now the percentage that I'm cutting these trees down does vary per tool. So right now I'm using the stone axe. If I had an iron axe out and equipped and whatnot, it would be damaging the tree for more every swing. But there's also perks that you can get that also help that. So I'll show you right now since we just uh, leveled up in extraction. Okay, so this here... That's durability loss, this here, 30% faster logging. So once I click this, you're gonna notice a big uptick in how much damage I do to the trees. And we'll just take a swing at this one, it's at 100%. So instead of 20%, I took it down by 26%. So it does, it does help. And then you can get that three times to increase it by, I think, 90%. And then with the Iron Axe, you're basically logging trees at two swings a tree almost. So I thought there was another one. I could be wrong. We might have already gotten it. I thought it was a little guy. Uh, I'll just check my inventory and see if it's in there. 
It is? Okay. So, we should be okay to finish up this sewing. This sewing one building, which is great because that's within our time limit. If I would have chosen a tavern to do, we'd be taking forever. So, we're just gonna pop that there. And as you can see, every time I put the last piece up, it just automatically finishes it. And it looks great. Wonderful. I needed that to happen just now. So, we need to make another hammer. We're just going to cut down a birch tree real quick. I always forget that the durability of your tool is down in the bottom right. The white and gray ring around the tool is its durability. So the lower that gets, the more chances you have of actually breaking that tool. And then obviously for every time it's used, it takes down so much durability. So if you get it down to zero at that point in time, the tool breaks. So back with the hammer, we're going to try to knock this out here. We have enough straw. We should have enough logs now more than enough since we had to log that other tree. And there we go. I'm going to go ahead and grab a screenshot of this just to say we did it. Yay. And that is building. So like I said, you have to lay the foundation down and then you have to make sure you have the required materials for each, each section of the building and then build it basically with the hammer. You're just basically hammering the pieces onto the wall or hammering them onto the roof or hammering them onto that little section of the wall at the top there for this house. And basically using the hammer to just automatically build it. Just knocking or putting resources up there and then once the last one's set it looks beautiful like this so that was building on today's what the flax there will be definitely be more to come as far as the building goes the more i go in depth into the buildings themselves such as the barn and the field workers and all that and just villagers in general uh we will be going more and more and more in depth so please follow my channel follow me so that way i can get you uh building like a champion in no time and thank you for joining me today uh sincerely if you didn't get the chance to vote yesterday in the American election, uh, please do next time. It is, you know, people have died for that right, and I don't care how you vote, just so long as you get out and vote, that's great. That's great. So, thank you again. This has been another episode of What the Flax, brought to you by Medieval Knights. I would like to thank you all for joining me today. Again, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, hit those like and subscribe buttons and ring that bell to be notified of new uploads. I am TJ West. Thanks again and let's keep it medieval people.